Cloud over the launch of the new health care system. People who are trying to register for the Affordable Care Act are running into problems. There are reports of system glitches, online delays. This is all triggered by the wave of new consumers. New at 6, Channel 2's Lori Geary live at Grady Memorial Hospital in downtown Atlanta with how this new law is going to affect health care here in Georgia. Well, Justin, just when Grady Memorial Hospital finds itself in the black, a $45 billion hit because of unintended consequences of the new law could push the hospital back in the red. And supporters of the new law say this is ironic because the new law was supposed to help hospitals like Grady. Instead, Grady must now brace for major cuts in services it offers to more than 300,000 patients. If I didn't have this resource, I would really be in big trouble. We talked to Danielle Words, uninsured and on her way to yet another doctor's appointment at Grady Memorial Hospital, a so-called safety net hospital because it cares for thousands of patients who are poor and uninsured. Yeah, I live in Doraville. It's very important to me. Words says she has heart problems, so she'll be signing up for health insurance under the Affordable Care Act. She could be one of the 10,000 patients at Grady who will qualify for the health insurance exchange. Not nearly as many who would have qualified for Medicaid had Georgia expanded the health care program, according to Grady Health System's CEO. If Georgia were to expand, we estimate we have an additional 40,000 patients um, that, that would be eligible under the new rolled out expansion of Medicaid. The Affordable Care Act also cut federal funding for hospitals like Grady that care for the poor. The intent of the law was that Medicaid expansion would offset those losses. Then the U.S. Supreme Court decided the Medicaid expansion should be left up to the states. Governor Nathan Deal said Georgia that that could not afford it. Uh, the impact to Grady um, when it's fully implemented will be a loss of $45 million a year in funding. John Hoppert says while he holds on to hope the funding could be restored on the federal level, he says he has no choice but to prepare for cuts. $45 million is obviously more than a haircut, right? And so we, we, we would have to look at how we reduce clinical services and make Grady a little bit smaller than it is today. Hoppert says he's not yet ready to announce which services could be cut. He says Georgia lawmakers, both Republican and Democrat, are aware of the funding issues and are trying to work on solutions. Reporting live from Grady Memorial Hospital in downtown Atlanta, Lori Geary, Channel 2 Action News. At WSBTV.com, there are helpful online calculators to help you figure out what the